welcome back to HGTV Handmade. Today I'm going to be tinting mason jars and this is actually something I tried to do a while back off camera and it was a complete craft fail. So this time around I'm going to experiment a little and see if I can get it right. For this project you will need mason jars, food coloring, glue, and a small bowl to mix everything up in. Each of these bowls has about one tablespoon of water. I'm adding different amounts of food coloring to each one to test out my theory that it's the amount of food coloring that matters for this project. I added five drops to the first, 10 drops to the second, and 20 drops to the third. I added about one tablespoon of glue to the mason jar and then I poured in the food coloring. Mix this all up and now it's time to coat the inside of the mason jar. Make sure your work surface is covered, then twist your mason jar around so that the color runs over the entire inner surface. You can let the excess run back into the bowl so that it can be reused later. Once your mason jar is coated, let this sit upside down for about 10 minutes while you preheat your oven to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. I placed the mason jars upside down on wax paper, then popped these in the oven. After 15 minutes, I flipped these over and warmed them for another 15 minutes. I noticed that most of the color disappeared from the first set of jars before I even started to warm them in the oven, so I made another jar with 40 drops. Here's how many drops were used to tint this set of jars. Anything less than 10 didn't really work, so I'd suggest 20 or more. I still wasn't really happy with the results, so I did a second experiment. I used acrylic paint in this jar, and then I used 60 drops of food coloring in another jar. The acrylic paint was a complete craft fail, but I finally got the nice blue shade I wanted with 60 drops. I was going to throw out the lighter jars, and then I realized that this makes a nice ombre set of tinted mason jars. Have you guys ever experimented with tinting mason jars? Did it work for you? Leave me a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next Friday with a new video. Bye guys.